Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Hey, a few days ago, someone asked on another uh, video that I'd done about uh, Winlink and Vara HF modems. They asked if I uh, had the settings that I could share for Vara AC. So, uh, I'm just going to whiz through them. So, for those of you who don't know, this is Vara AC. Vara AC, Vara Chat, and it's a bit big, so let's make this a little bit smaller. So here we have Vara AC, Vara Chat, um, and it's a very good application. So if you're not familiar with it, <coughs> uh, this is message window. From here, you'll get yeah, the uh, band that you're on, you'll get the timestamp, and you'll get um, the person who's sending you a message and who it's sending it to, and a signal a noise report and the actual message itself. <laughs> Uh, you can either send private messages or you can broadcast messages to every man and his dog. Uh, but most importantly, today we're going to <coughs> have a look at the settings. Now I'm using a Yaesu FT710, so my settings are going to be specific for that. And we're going to click up here on the settings tab. And my information just contains my uh, call sign information and call sign locator. The one we're interested in today is going to be the control and various configurations. In the settings, you can see we've got the tabs along the top. So we've got rig, which is your radio, login, VARA, QSO, a and beacon, DX cluster. The only one we're really interested in today is rig and possibly VARA. So we can set up two things. We can set up the PTT configuration. So press the top configuration. That's going to be using CAT in this case. And we can also do the frequency control for both <laughs> settings. I have uh, the cat control set to use FT710, and that's straight out of the box. So if we just click the down arrow, you can see that you have a great deal of options for radios. Way up to the top. So from the top down, we have the Adelm. Pluto SDR, which is uh, one I'm not aware of, not familiar with. Then we've got all of the icons, or the vast majority of the icons, lots of Kenwoods. Um, some interesting stuff in the middle. A Zygo G90. All the way down to the bottom where we've got the Yesu FTDX9000, which sounds like an absolute beast. But I have a 710. So just play Hunt the Radio. And here we are, we have the FT710, so I'm just going to select that. And that's the only one I need to select. We have the options for using OmniRig, we have the options for FL Rig, and a couple of other options which I've never used. Below that we have the CAT configuration, and I'm using the COM port in this case, pretty standard setup, and I'm using COM port 3. My board is set to the standard of 38400. Parity is none, data bits is 8. Stop bits is one, DTR and RTS are both set to L. You can see you've got a choice between L and H, which I believe is low and high. <coughs> okay, and I can test that my PTT configuration actually works by clicking the PTT on. And you can hear that PTT engaged, and I'm going to turn it off, and it's disengaged. Okay, so in this window, we have the frequency control, and again, I'm using Yesu FT710. Drop down arrow gives you the same options as there is for PTT. And also, we have the option of OmniRig, FLRig, NON, and HamLib. We can load the last frequency, which, as it suggests, is the last frequency you used. And we have the option of using an antenna tuner or not and I just leave mine to off in this case. My frequency control is going to be using USB-D, <coughs> and this frequency here is just the test frequency, which we're going to try and tune up on, um, which is also the frequencies that Varacy uses. So if I just click test, you can see here we've got the frequency of 7105. Click in test, we'll change that to 7105 here, and if I change the frequency to 14 and click test, again it's changed to 1405. And in 
the GUI, we can see that frequency is 1405. I'm just going to put that back to 17. Uh, 77. Okay, so those are all the settings I have for VARC. I don't change anything else. Login is just where your uh, ADF log ends up. The VARA tab gives you some uh, control of the configuration. And all we're doing is really saying VARA modem type, as you can see. Mine set to VARA HF. You can go VARA FM or VARA SAT if you prefer, but I use VARA HF. <clears throat> I don't change the IP host or the ports or the KISS port. And also the VARA path file is um, automatically populated when you do the installs. Um, when I start Vara C, I want the modem to start up, so I've selected that tick box and we've got a little tooltip there. Okay, and also we have the option to remember the Vara audio level per band, and that relates to different audio levels for different bands, as you might expect. So I'm just going to click save and exit here. All right, let's crack on. So that is the Vara C configuration. Um, you'll probably find that your uh, WSJTX or your JS8 call, uh, your OmniRig um, settings will be exactly the same for Vara C as well. The other thing I need to look at is the Vara HF setup. Now Vara HF is a software packet modem. And it's been available for a while. Um, I've been using it for probably about a year now and I've actually um, paid out for the license as well which gives me more bandwidth so um, this waterfall down here may be slightly different if you've not paid for the license. One of the things we need to check in Vara HF is the actual settings so we're going to go to settings and I'm interested in the sound card settings and these are the sound card settings. Sound card settings, and you may recognize the device input being your USB audio device, which you'll also probably use for uh, other data programs. And this is automatically po uh, populated for me. <coughs> the channel uh, left or right is available to select singly. Or you can just choose left and right, and I just chose left and right. Uh, what we're interested in down here is this screen, the 14067 screen, is just a example of how your AOC should look. And what we're looking for AOC on my radio and your radio is going to be one third of the AOC. And how we get that is by clicking the tune button, and we're just going to adjust here how much drive we've got. Um, if we overdrive the AOC, then it's going to be bad for our radio and it's going to be equally bad for our audio going out, which in turn will uh, just in induce noise and it'll be nasty. Um, make people's waterfalls look awful, they get very cross. Anyway, so if I just click the tune button instead of waffling, I'm going to send out a 1500 hertz test tone. And you can see there's no change here. Like I said, this. This window doesn't end up doing a thing. If I go across to my radio. Okay, so I've got my radio now. And as we said before, uh, I'm in, oops, I'm in data new mode. <coughs> and the top right scale is my S meter and my SWR meter. And I'm just going to change that to show ALC. And it's gone, so I'm going to do it quickly. Please excuse my little fat fingers. Okay, so ALC, as you can see here, it is in the middle. We're not doing anything, we're just in receive at the moment. So I'm going to hit the ALC tune button. And as you can see, it's about a third of the way across. Now I can move the power, power slider up and down and decrease the ALC. Or I can overdrive it and I can mock it all the way up and it's, it's going to be nasty. So I'm going to stick it about, stick it about about there okay and that's us for tuning up using vera hf so i will click the close button down here and we're just back at the normal hf modem window and now we're back in the standard vara ac window this is the 
dark theme, which is available if you just go up to settings. Get my mouse up there. Go up to settings, and then we can change it in appearance and sounds. In appearance and sounds, we can load predefined themes. And you get a few different ones in there. Um, I like this one. It's uh, I think it's just a default dark mode, to be honest. It's quite handy when I'm out operating in the middle of nowhere. I'm just going to go and close that without saving it. I hope that explains the basic settings for an FT710. Um, basic settings for Vera AC and also for Vera HF. Um, if you do use Vara HF quite often for Vara AC, etc., and for Winlink email, um, I, I would recommend getting the um, license for Vara HF because it is, it is worth it. Um, the speed of emails is so much faster. <clears throat> anyway, I digress. Back to Vara C. We can see that in this window down here, where my cursor is, we've got my most frequent, so not most, most frequent, my latest um, logs. Latest log today, 27th of the 12th, 2024, all back to front. And I was just sending a couple of beacons, and sending beacons is how I find out if Varus E is working for me. Now, in this green window up here, you can see that other people have been sending beacons as well. What we're going to do is follow suit. And I'm going to send a beacon. And all I'm going to do is click on send beacons, which is purple in mine. Right, I've just sent a beacon out. Oh, the software's just sent a beacon out. And I want to see what's being heard. So I'm going to look on PSK Reporter, which is hiding just up here, just that camera. So I'm going to click on the PSK Reporter map. So it's all tip there. And it's going to open up PSK Reporter. And on PSK report, we can see I've got some signal reports. We've got this call sign here. So Golf Zero Echo Hotel Golf heard me. And they are 127 kilometres away from me, which is what? It's 78 miles. Uh, some block down in France heard me. And this is all useful information. You see these ones ones with two hours on uh, from earlier in the day so now at minus 20 db is minus 15 earlier it was minus 3 minus 18 so it's a bit of a mixed bag today the conditions are fantastic okay let's just clean that up a bit so we can see <clears throat> we can see that I've, I've been heard by monitors up in finland monitors up in european russia and down in the uh, down in the alps in italy so this is all good Okay, so I hope that's useful. Um, I hope that helps out the person who was asking for information about it. Um, if it doesn't, then, then drop us a line and we'll see what we can do. Um, but like I said, all of the options for me just work straight out of the box. Okay, thanks for watching and listening. Uh, please click like and subscribe and share if you like what you're seeing. Uh, and until next time, that's some fees for me. Lone Wolf Ham Radio to Echo Zero Hotel Kilo Zulu. Um, cheers and beers. Bye.